it's Louise here from Crazy Borgie. Right, I have another PR package that only just arrived this morning. I had to open it to find out um, where which company it was from. You'll have to excuse my dodgy filming angle. Um, I'm filming on the floor today, guys, because my table is just covered in stuff. Little dolls and all sorts. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to grab my little desk that I use to diamond paint on the sofa and go for it. So this is a PR package today from DIY Chews. Um, they contacted me via email asking me to do um, an unboxing video for them, which is what I decided to do. So I chose a product, a newish product, and yeah. Let's just go for it. I had to open it, obviously, but I haven't opened the actual box itself. So, it did come in its bog standard uh, grey bag that it usually comes in. Now, the box is very, very sturdy and well protected. So, it should be okay, but let's see how it's arrived. It has took its time to get here a bit longer than usual. But I'm presuming that's because of what they are going through at the moment. So we've got our drills. There's only a few drills there and there. We have some special shapes as well. So we'll have a look at those in a minute. We have that. I'm wondering if you can guess what it is, guys. I've seen this advertised. Bear in mind, I do not like make and do sets. But I thought I'll give this a whirl and see how we get on. So it comes with a standard kit your little green tray your pinkish wax and then your pink pen and your baggies so if you like storing your leftover drills in baggies then it's all good so uh -huh. oh this is very interesting so there's the little screwdriver and some little side panels and then we have lights and we have oh what's that guy <laughs> i'm sure you can work it out by now it's a musical led lamp yes i've done it now haven't i okay so Let's have a look here, what we get. So we've got this section to be diamond painted. And we've got that, which doesn't appear. Does Is it diamond painted? No, I don't think this section is diamond painted, actually. No, I think that's just like a decorative top base. So it does have a picture here. Let's have a look at the instructions quickly. And obviously I got one in the shape of a cross. <laughs> yes, <laughs> can you believe it? Okay, so the adhesive is excellent as always. And you do diamond paint both sides as well as this, this section. So I'm wondering if maybe, right, let's just have a look at the instructions before just wondering things. But that's the base itself. And it is a musical box. So, will I be any good at making this? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Will I be able to get it to work? Quite hopefully. Oh, let's see. Do you turn that? No. I heard a little ping then. I don't want to do anything to, to break it. I'm presuming that that will go on there when you've made everything and then perhaps this is just me presuming I could be wrong of course but there is a picture here actually so it tells you with the picture aha this looks good and then quite possibly you would have that somewhere or maybe that goes under there no it can't do because it's not got a hole Hmm. Okay, so I know that's the base. 
So it would go like that, and you'd screw it on, obviously. Then you get your little connectors as well that are in there. Now, I have done one of my Easter lights as well, so I know how to do that. But, ta-da, it comes with music installation. That's a long word for me. <laughs> music box installation steps, guys. So, it tells you that you would have to fix the box to the acrylic board with screws. And then you would install the base of the music box. The base, the base, the base. Where is the base? Ah, could it be in here? It might well be. Because we do have some parts in there. And then install, unscrew the screw to fix isolation column. And yeah, basically it gives you a list of instructions. So yeah we shall see how we get on with this guys but the end result should look something like that which has a bunny rabbit on it but obviously i've gone for the cross so i'll show you it's got a picture on the box of what it should look like when it's completed which is that so it will light up as well and it's on this box it's called a cartoon led diamond painting lamp but whether or not i i don't know that's i would say it's a musical box you know as well musical a musical lamp let's just say that um but i saw this and it tells you how to diamond paint on the box as well i know i'm a bit near but I saw this and I thought I've been wanting to try one but I was a bit scared, not scared, I was a bit apprehensive because I'm not very good at making and doing things. Um, I, I'll give it a shot and I will get there in the end but it doesn't come easy, <laughs> it doesn't, no. So from what I can see is you put that like that and then I'm still not quite sure where this, ah, okay so maybe this part would go in here like that yeah so the cross would sit up there like that and then this part is that adhesive i think this is adhesive guys could be wrong yeah i think it sort of sits on it Let's get these bits out. I'm just curious myself, guys, because I've I've seen these for quite a while and I've wanted to give it a shot. Now these parts are adhesive. Okay. So I'm thinking that ah no, look, think Lou. Here you would put it like that. These go around the edge like that and then you would secure it in the base like so, like that. You see guys? Yeah, so obviously it would be straight. So this bit, is that bit diamond painted? No, that bit's not diamond painted. And then think think this goes in the middle perhaps perhaps who knows I don't know yeah that may that goes like that then that goes in the middle that goes on there like so and then it spins around but I could be wrong it might go on the bottom. It might actually go underneath. No, it can't go under there. Hang on. Yeah, no, I think I've done it right. Yeah. And then it goes like that. And then the cross sits 
in here and it spins around like so like that I think so I'll work it out and I will show you the end result because I'm quite curious to see how this goes guys because I think it's a lovely idea to have a musical diamond painted box I'm just seeing what what the picture looks like on the box so on the box it would appear that perhaps that perhaps it goes on let me see how many of these we've got we've got one two three four five six seven one two three four five six hmm. oh who knows guys who knows i know i will work it out but, oh, sugar don't do this at home guys i'm a professional i'm a professional bleh, can't talk to that i'm a professional at breaking things no not really okay <laughs> Ah, I think I've got it now, guys. Okay. So. Ah, uh, look. So these have holes in. So it would go like this, guys. So that would go on there like so. Yeah. Then you'd put your side panels to cover up the lights and all the bits down there. And then these, these bits would go along down the bottom under here, like so, like that. And then, like that, yeah. And then this has holes in as well, so you would screw your little connectors on and screw it up there so it takes it up to three levels and then you would put your main ornament part on here like that yeah i hope i've explained that guys i hope i have i think i have but you know so it's a free free tier um ornament which will be really lovely it'd be really lovely actually to um to give to a child or or even just anyone really, I, I'd be happy with receiving something like that. Especially if someone had gone to the effort of diamond painting it. So these side panels you don't diamond paint. You just diamond paint your main ornament in the middle, both sides. And only one side of the base, so this one. Because the reason I don't think they diamond painted this is because you won't actually see it you won't see the top of this one because that goes in the middle so there's no point is there really diamond painting that unless you wanted to of course but it's a cute pattern isn't it okay so and then obviously you get your lights as well which are battery operated and yeah really happy with that i don't think that will take me that long i might actually try and give that a go today I actually thought we had to make the music box, so I was a bit concerned when I thought, how the heck am I going to put a music box together, guys? But um, it appears the music box is already made. I'm not sure what the music is, but it'll be something nice, I'm sure. So, I will crack on with that this evening, and I will let you know how I get on. And I want to show you the drills that it's come with. So, hang on a second, guys. One of my children has just walked in. Just let me pause you for one second. Right, sorry about that, guys. Drama in the garden with the swings. They've got a swing each, but yet they still argue over the same swing. Can you believe it? It's the joys of having children. <laughs> they will find something to argue over, guaranteed. 
Right, okay, so we do have lots of specials in this, it would appear. So firstly, we have these clear rhinestones. We have the blue, aqua blue colour. We have a red and a red. Oh, I'm more excited about this project, guys. I do get excited about my off cat, oh, about any project really, but this one I am particularly excited about. So we get some oval shape rhinestones which are quite large i'd say and then we get these oh gorgeous look at those these a b's oh my gosh they are stunning so teardrops they're just stunning aren't they wow and then we get some red smaller teardrops and then we get some lime sort of no actually i'll say limey green limey greeny yellow that's what i'm gonna say guys tiny little teardrops again clear tiny little teardrops and then we get oh lovely gorgeous we've got some hearts guys we get some pink hearts as well and then we get these gorgeous blue pearl teardrops which are always lovely and then we've got my favorite my favorite which is this star burst look at that the star burst ones this is my favorite of all the special shapes this is most definitely my favorite it's got an a b coating on it as well so it's just yeah lovely okay so there's that and then we've got another bag here have they given me two, hmm, this is a bit concerning because I'm just looking here to see if it's got some sort of code on the box itself, but it doesn't. Is it on the instruction sheet? Let me have a look. Because I've got two sets of drills here. No, I've got two sets of drills. But then on this, it has two sets as well. So, yeah, it must be because we We'll see what we've got in this one. Maybe this is just extra specials, who knows. Okay, so in this, we've got some red. We've got some yellows. We've got some light blues some oranges, gorgeous red pearl teardrops, got medium size blue, we've got a marquee, tiny marquee, sort of like, just like a yellow, a very, very pale yellow colour, and then a purple, okay? So, I'm going to crack on with those and we shall see how I get on guys and I might actually do another video either tonight or tomorrow depending how I crack on with this, how I get, get on with it. I do just want to give the little cross uh, a quick measure to see how tall this is. But then it's going to be tall anyway because it's going to go on three levels. So, okay, so this is coming in at four and a half with the centimetres. Yes, four and a half, four and a half, what? Sorry guys, can't read today. <laughs> Fourteen and a half centimeters okay and that is coming in at nine and a half yeah about well maybe nearly ten we we give it a little bit extra so probably about nine just over nine and a half basically but you would have to um think that it's going to go on three tiers as well so i'm just wondering if it would have no it doesn't have 
the actual product dimensions but it does say on the back that it's suitable for six plus years of age so that's something to bear in mind but it doesn't have the actual um doesn't have the actual size of the product when made but i chose this one purely because i i love red i'm sure i've told you that many times and i just saw lots of red in this and i was like oh yes and i've been curious about this for a long time because i've seen it advertised and any new products like this i'd i just love to try you know so i'm over the moon I will give it a go and then I will let you know how I get on. I don't think it'll take you long to diamond paint at all. Um, once you get your cross done and then your base done, I always seal them as well. So I would seal them before I try to make them. And uh, we'll see how we get on guys. Wish me luck because I think I'm going to need it. But once again, I'd like to say a huge thank you to DIY Choose for sending me this lovely product to review. And um, if you like my content, then please like, subscribe, share and comment down below. Um, whoops, hang on a second, guys. Right, sorry about that, guys. Another interruption. <laughs> this is the joy of trying to film when they're off school. So, yes, if you like my content, then please like, subscribe, share, comment down below. And um, if you are on Instagram or TikTok, then also please do follow me on there, which is Crazy Borgies Diamond Art. I do also want to say a huge, huge thank you and another shout out to Diamond Grandma as well, because she sent me a lovely message this morning. I will make an effort to sit down this evening to try and reply to all your lovely messages because at the moment i'm not ashamed to admit guys i'm struggling to um to keep my sanity <laughs> because the kids are just doing my brains in quite literally guys and uh it's not easy trying to film as well when you've got them at home because someone's always upset someone is always upset in my house so um only a few more days to go and they should be back at school so yeah you know <laughs> sounds terrible i love having them at home and i do miss them when they go back but it's just i feel like i get nothing done when they're at home so i'm sure i'm not alone in feeling that way um so yeah anyway Praise the Lord for diamond painting and my religion and everything like that because that's what keeps me grounded and keeps me focused on life and enjoying it to the best that we can. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say for now, guys. And uh, once again, DIY Choose, thank you for sending me this beautiful product. It was... For those of you that want to know, the product itself costs $21.99 and the in pounds it is £16.90p. So I will link this product in the description box and please feel free to go ahead and check out this product or any other product that you choose to have a look on their beautiful website because I'm sure if you like diamond painting that you will be able to find something that you like for sure okay guys so um yeah that's all i've got for you now so once again i will speak to you all soon take care take care of yourself take care of your loved ones stay nice and safe and yet yeah, love each other and love each love yourself and love each other okay so god bless i hope you all have a beautiful remainder of your wednesday and i shall be going and putting my head in the oven now no, i'm only joking i'm only joking i'm not gonna go and put my head in the oven but um i shall go and do lots and lots of diamond painting now okay
and I apologize for the noise in the background but this is real life this is my life I don't claim you know to do anything else than say it as it is that's just me I'm not going to edit everything out because it's my life guys you know and um yeah that's all I want to say so take care of yourselves love each other love one another and um i will speak to you all soon so bye for now and god bless you all bye